Hello YouTubers, Merry Christmas, and welcome to Day 5 of Season 3 of the 12 Days of Christmas Cars Diecasts. Today, we're going to take a look at Sir Miles Axelrod from Cars 2, but with an open hood. Before we get right into the review and the retrospective, let's start with the unboxing. So, here we've got his artwork. Artwork, the cars logo, the red background, and his and the title Miles Axelrod with open hood, his diecast sealed in, the metal logo and the Mattel logo. And on the back we have the Cars 2 logo and Sir Miles Axelrod with the open hood himself. 2021 Mattel as seen in the Mattel logo empowering the next generation through play Disney slash Pixar www.disney.com slash cars and so on and so forth And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the unboxing. So here we've got Sir Miles Axelrod from Cars 2 with an open hood, all opened up and out of the package. So, <clears throat> as I have mentioned in my previous video of the regular Sir Miles Axelrod, Axel rod the engine inside axle rod underneath his hood was photographed by rod torque redline and he passed it on to mater which led to holly shiftwell and finn mcmissile mistaking mater for rod and they thought that mater took it Then, later on in the film, Tumber stated that, said something about Whitworth bolts, which were attached to the Axelrod's engine, and Axelrod was the customer who bought out Tomber's market in Paris. Then, during the Lemons meeting in Porto Corsa, Italy, he, his engine was seen, only seen on screen, but never revealed himself as he was the, as he was the one with the disguised voice, then at Buckingham Palace, it was revealed by Mater, and Mater stated that Axelrod was the one leaking oil in Tokyo, Japan, and blamed it on Mater, which led to Lightning McQueen having Mater go to the bathroom for no reason. And, and and Axelrod was the one who activated the bomb on Mater's engine, as he said it deactivated, and was then arrested by the police. I'd say Doug Speedcheck, Siren Carberini, and Mark Wilson, who I unfortunately don't have either of the three, and the photo the in and his engine from the photograph was revealed by Finn McMissile and Holly Shiftwell. And during his diecast releases, his open hood variant was released twice in 2013 as part of the Palace Chaos series and, and for 2022 or 2023. I'm pretty sure it's 2023. But let me know what year it was in the comments down below. So anyhow, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Oh. 
Oops. Sorry about that. So here we've got his awkward facial expression, his light green paintwork, and his black grill, and his headlights, and, the, and on the hood it says Axelrod, which is his surname, and, and we have the open hood itself, which opens and shuts, and here we have his engine from the photograph itself inside, and the uh, gray and blue on the top. We have the side view mirrors. And on both sides we have his door and his gray, gray rims on the black wall tires and the blue window. And on the back we have the gray, dark gray back bumper and a yellow license plate saying ALT space NRG and the taillights and on the undercarriage it says Disney slash Pixar made in Thailand Mattel and that is it now let's pull up, pull up the regular Miles Axelrod now here are some similarities and differences both are Sir Miles Axelrod regular version, open hood version, angry expression, I mean, or should I say evil expression, awkward expression, and same decals, and so it's take too long, anyway. Now, this version has the open working has a working part while well, this version doesn't and that is it I think and now let's pull up some of the other lemons we have Professor Z Zundap Grim Acer Petrov Trunkov Don Crumlin the other British cars we have Finn McMissile, Holly Sheftwell, Nigel Gearsley, Lewis Hamilton, Queen Elizabeth II, and Sergeant Highgear. And that is it. So, what do you guys think? Which version of Sir Miles Axelrod is your favorite? Is it the regular version or the open hood version? But as for me, since I got the open hood version, I'm going to say the open hood version, the open hood version. And since I got the open hood version itself, I may as well use that as the regular Sir Miles Axelrod. And I'm going to Dis discard this version in that doesn't have the open hood. So bye bye. And which which lemon is your favorite? And which British car is your favorite also? Let me know what you think. Uh, and which car for day six tomorrow should I record? Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions in the comments down below or. A vote on the voting poll in the community tab and if you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe also don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel and I hope to see you guys next time for day six tomorrow so please stay tuned Merry Christmas goodbye now